What's up, YouTube? I will retro gamer dad here. So we have a special video. Um, so this was just kind of a quick little grab from Facebook. Um, I'm not gonna go into too much details about it. But basically, it popped up on Facebook, and I've never seen these before in my area. I don't know much about it, but I took a chance and I went out and I got it. So basically, uh. Yep, popped up on Facebook. Guy wanted $75 for it, and all I could see was the box. So we'll spin that around right now. I'll try and hold this up, and we'll try and do a nice little cool unboxing of it. So I don't know too much about this system. This is the Odyssey 2. Um, from what I can remember looking at, we'll just kind of hold, takes up the whole thing. I'm not 100 yet, it was Phillips. Okay, so this was originally designed by Phillips. Um, I don't know the exact details of everything on it. I was going to do a little bit more research before I did this video, but I ran out of time. So all I know that is originally the Odyssey 2 came out in about 1978. Um, 78 or 79. The original price selling for it was $179. Now I did an implementation um, calculator. It's basically 179 bucks back then is equal to about $700 nowadays. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna open this up and we're gonna get some of this out and we're gonna look at this. Now I'll just give you another little kind of quick look at the back of the box. This is pretty cool. Really, out of all the years that they've done these systems, from 1978, it really has not changed at all. I mean, it's still got information on the back, it's still got all the different kinds of games you can get around it. Yeah, so that's still really cool how it has not changed really at all. Um, so now this popped up, and I'm, I'm not one for Atari and stuff like that. I've, I've got collections on PlayStation and stuff like that, that have all the great Atari games and stuff like that. And I've always said that I'm not going to buy a system like that unless I can get a really good price. Now what really caught my eye with this was the fact that it was still boxed. And then not only that, all the stuff inside seemed pretty well complete. Now as you can see right here, it has one of the original books in it. The keyboard is the key is what it says. Now this is kind of a cool little, basically, I think it almost tells you, it just gives you a little category of all the games that you can get for it. Um, like we'll swing this open right now. Uh, let's see here. Out of this world, helicopter rescue, various different games that you can get out for the Odyssey. So that was really cool. Uh, pocket Builders, and it just kind of oh, it's got that old 1978 smell to it. <laughs> but besides that, here we go. This is awesome. Congratulations, you just acquired the ultimate video game system. Now this was one of the three consoles I was reading before the great video game depression in the, what was it, the early 80s before Nintendo and them really brought it back. But this was before the great video game depression. Um, and if I remember right, the original Odyssey might be, if not the first video game system besides like Pong and stuff like that. I think the Odyssey, the first one, was the original system. So this has everything you get with your system. I mean... How do you get service on your Odyssey 2 after the three month warranty expire? Oh, that is crazy. I mean, this still has the original warranty information on it. Um, oh, and then on the back here, it has, or even right there, it has the addresses to all the service areas they could go to for it. I know it's kind of probably hard to see there. Maybe I'll take a picture and upload it later, but this is all the warranty information. Here is a little Magnavox product registration card that you could fill out. Uh, the, you can get part of, you can send this in and become part of the Odyssey Game Club. That'd be funny. I wonder if this is still a. I'll have to look this up and see if this address is still valid. Maybe there's something cool I can get a hold of them or do something and maybe they'll get back, send me something back. I doubt it, but you never know. Basically, we just have a bunch of other stuff, so you can spend more money 
Uh, here is a wonderful World of Odyssey order form, so you can send this in to order more games and stuff like that. Um, two big money-saving offers. Wow. So it just basically, uh, yeah, more stuff to get. Here is actually what somebody was telling me about uh, the voice, which is a little voice synthesizer that you can get with it. And it's talking more about that on that page. Just another page about buying more games. And I think this is... Yep, this is... Basically, all this stuff is just about offers and stuff for to get the games for it. And so that's really cool. Yep, yep. Enter the wonderful world of Odyssey. So this must have been inside with it. Looks like somebody at one point kid or something drew on it. Oh, that's cool. Bunch of just order forms so you can get more games with it. This probably was the way to get the games back then. Was to get actually a hold of the company and they would send it to you. So there's the paperwork that came with it. All very cool stuff. I never see that stuff. Um, and like I said, uh, originally this is what caught my eye was that it still had the box and all the paperwork. Um, so we'll just go off on top what we have on top and this is the games. So it, it came, I think with about four games. Um, this one's got Speedway, Spin Out, and Crypt Crypto Logic. Um, now I'm guessing it says press one, two, or three, or press four. So I'm guessing when you put this baby in there, you have to hit one of those buttons to activate that certain game. Um, looks like this is the same one. This one, you hit one for blackjack. And this one, I remember seeing it float around in here, but the sticker must have came off. I wonder if I can somehow get that sticky back on there sometime. But this one was uh, matchmaker, press one or two, buzzword or logix. So that's really cool. I like the cartridge, and so it's a lot more cool looking than the Atari ones. Looks pretty beat up, so I bet I wonder if they even work anymore. But the connectors look all right. I might have to open one of these up in a future video, and we'll see what they look like. Um, so now, what else is actually floating around in here? Now it still has the styrofoam in here, which is freaking crazy. But we have. I'm wondering if these are all the same. But we have the old classic uh, antenna game switches. So we'll open one of these up and look at it. You know, nowadays you can just hook up the HDMI to the back of the TV and do all this other stuff. But I know some people out there will remember these. So I don't know, it's going to be kind of hard for me to set this up sometimes because the guy sold it to me as is. He doesn't know if it works or not. And probably because he wouldn't know how to hook one of these Betsy's up. So this is, looks like one of four pieces. I wonder if you'd have to hook all of those up. But yeah, I will have to look into this more on how to get this thing going. But we have, so a lot of the old TVs, you would have a hookup down here and stuff that you could plug into. And then on the back here, you had these two connector things. Now you'd stick those in and screw them on somehow. And it's, it's very weird how it used to work. And the only reason I know that is because growing up when I had my Nintendo, we had a lot of old TVs. So that was the only way that we could play. Yep, so this one is exactly the same. I think it's the exact same setup. So this came with three of the exact same ones, which is cool because it's still freaking in box. Ode you know, it says Odyssey right there and everything. So that is really awesome. So I have three of those that came with it. We'll go ahead and put them right back in so we don't get anything lost. This is just outstanding. I mean, this is just crazy. I can't believe all this stuff that's so well preserved in here. So even if this thing doesn't work, good price. I got the box and everything with it. And I got the games. But I have a feeling this thing's going to work. Because we're going to start taking some of the actual console parts out and we'll look at it. And it's in awesome condition. Like I said, this thing still has the styrofoam in it, as you can see. Now we'll pull out one of the controllers to check out. 
Oh, actually, it's, it's the controllers are. Wow, the controllers are actually connected onto it. So we'll have to leave it like this for now. Whoa, cords! Okay, so we have a power cord, your basic AC adapter. So nothing too fancy there. Um, let's see here. Well, it looks like there's a lot more core than needs to be. This is right here. Wow, that connects straight into it too. So now here is. I'm guessing your video, audio video connection. Let's pull out one of these babies. And just kind of look at this quick. So I'm assuming. Okay, so you'd plug this into the top right there. I'm guessing that's how that works. Huh. Probably have to look into this more. I would assume you just plug it in up top here, but it's not going in there very good. I don't want to force it in, so we'll look into that more, but I'm guessing this is your connection piece. I wonder if you can just put this straight into a TV if it's got the right adapter thing. So we have that. Let's go ahead and take this out. I mean, this thing... This thing's got dang, uh, gosh dang. Wow. I'm losing everything. Put the box down here. Wow. Put the styrofoam over here. This is pretty cool. So, I would almost, it's Odyssey 2 micro processor. So I would compare this almost to an old looking speak and spell. Speak to spell. So we have, this is the main console. So now we have a cool little keyboard and stuff down here. Um, your games would go in right here. I don't know if you can see down in there. Yep, you can see the little pin connector thing. You have a power button right here. And then, yeah, this would act almost just as like a, like a, a keyboard. I mean, they even have the old, so they've been using the same keyboard style for many years, like the A, S, D, F, you know, instead of going in roll. So they have all that down there. You have your function keys, your input keys, and your number, your numeric ones. So now this is the, the controller. We have the basic kind of like Atari controller, except here's your joystick more, which is still in very awesome condition and your action button. That is, that's cool. I am gonna really look into getting this thing hooked back up sometime, so hopefully we can, you know, do a video of it actually working. So we have this, we got the games, we got the connector pieces. Like I said, I do not know, there's where the power cord is, I'm going, going in there, I'm assuming. So I don't even know if this thing works. I might hook it up with just the power cord here coming up and just see if there's some way to see if it even turns on or anything like that. Um, as of right now, with the uh, antenna game switches and stuff like that, I do not know if I'll be able to hook this up in my current setup. I might have to look into getting certain pieces. I have a couple buddies that are good with this kind of stuff. So I might have to look into getting certain equipment to hook up to my TVs to make this work. But we will figure something out because I, I really want to get this going if possible. Otherwise, it'll look cool in the game room. I have some empty shelf room that's just kind of getting filled up over here. I can put the box up. It'll look sweet in the game room. Um, so we do have another little special treat because besides this, it came with a bunch of, um, I think I think they were in television games. Um, so I'll try and uh, get this stuff pushed off to the side a little bit. So much stuff here now. But it came, to, he had this in this really cool box like this and then you open her up now it's not full of games it's got all the freaking uh, it's got the cool little like those little pieces and stuff like that it's pretty dirty I'll definitely have to clean this thing up he says it's been sitting for a while but we have uh, oh cool there's a he-man game 
1983. So this was 87 or 1983. So this was yeah. I don't know if you guys could see that very well. We have a cool little He-Man game here. So that is awesome. I I'm gonna go through this stuff too. Uh, we'll have some of this videos. So I'm not gonna put this on. Oh, I saw Tron. Tron. There we go. A little Maze of Tron. Was that Maze of Tron? Maze of Tron. So that's freaking cool. Wow. Is these are in television games and stuff like this? I might have to look into getting into television now too. So it came in this cool little case that holds the games and stuff like that. There you go, guys. I'm not going to have to make you guys watch me clean this up. Put everything back. Uh, stay tuned for future videos. We're going to hopefully try and get this thing going. This is really sweet. Um, I can't believe all the paperwork's still there. I can't believe it still has got the styrofoam. And these games are crazy cool looking. So, uh, post down below in the comments. Um... What you guys think? If you guys have one of these, um, if you guys have any recommendations for how I should hook this up, um, I will be checking out YouTube to hopefully figure out some way of doing this. I am really excited. I can't wait to get messing around with this a little bit more. Um, we have so many more good, awesome videos coming out coming soon. Um, stay tuned for all those. As always, guys, stay retro. Thank you for watching. Comment below. Throw a thumbs up. And just take it easy. Stay retro, friends.